welcome to another episode of Neighborhood Community Shoutouts! So sorry that I've been MIA a lot this past week or so. It's been a little bit crazy here in North Carolina and I'm trying to vlog as often as I possibly can, but things are a little crazy. But we got some people to welcome, we got some thoughts and prayers, and I do even have a question for you guys this week. So let's get started. Okay, so once again, if I say your name wrong, let me know. If I miss you, let me know. And if I've welcomed you before, welcome again. Valerie G, welcome to the neighborhood. Sakut 2, welcome to the neighborhood. Christina's Nail Madness, CR. Welcome to the neighborhood. Legend of Epicness, welcome to the neighborhood. Ruby Pierce, welcome to the neighborhood. Randall's 1970, welcome to the neighborhood. Susanna Anderson, welcome. Welcome to the neighborhood. She's from Twitter. Shout out to you. Jenny Bean. Welcome to the neighborhood. And Vanessa Fogarty. Welcome to the neighborhood. Betsy Wetsy just wanted to say, um, hope you're doing well on your journey to getting your old life back. Congratulations. Hope everything's going well with that. Pyro Nation, congratulations on your journey. He is down 83 pounds since December. Congratulations to you. And I just wanted to say a special hello to a very special friend of mine that I've been missing saying hello to, Bethany from Sylvia Phillips, Faith, Hope, and Love. Hi, Bethany, I've missed you. Okay, thoughts and prayers, guys. Here we go. We always start out with thoughts and prayers for my dad, Fred the Lone Wolf. Drax Shadow, um, Mom's Vlog 80, Melody Mainville, Drax Shadow, Elijah Mainville. One Proud Mama, 77 as always, April and Haley. Thoughts and prayers go out to them. Uh, Alex Griffin, thoughts and prayers for him. He had jaw surgery this past week, so thoughts and prayers go out to you, Alex. Hope everything's going well. Nate's Flicks, his father was ill and in the hospital. Hope all is going well with you, Nate, and your father. Jerry Colburn went in. She's been doing so well. She went in for a medical screening, and they found an infection in her blood, so she's back on. Um, antibiotics and she had some shots. Let's hope that it does not get bad enough and she has to go back into the hospital. So thoughts and prayers go out to you, Jerry. And thoughts and prayers for all of those people affected by the wildfires in California right now. So thoughts and prayers go out to all of you. Um, I told you guys I have a question for you. My tag this week inspired me to ask you guys, what is your most embarrassing moment. Yeah. It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Take it away, Kevin. Kevin? Kevin? Okay, everybody. So last week, uh, since it's summer now, and it's very obviously summer now since we're in the triple digits temperature-wise, uh, the question was about the movie The Burning, 1981, and what was the movie based on? There's a story that, uh, or legend, on the East Coast that actually turned into um, an actual character um, in Staten Island, and there's a, a really good documentary about it, but the, um, the person is called Cropsy, and it's a legend slash... Coast. And those who got that correct is Terry Johnson, uh, Tanya Longley, and the Abyss 92882. Alright, staying with the summer theme, the, the question 
question today is about the movie I Know What You Did Last Summer. And uh, that was from 1987. It's based on a novel, actually, uh, of the same name from 1973, written by Lois Duncan. Now, here's the question. What is the body count in the movie, 1997? And what is the body count from the novel? There's your question. You guys are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all so very, very much. And I thank you all so much for the thoughts and prayers and the kind words and the concern and the understanding. And we will see you guys all next week on another episode of Shoutouts! Bye, guys.